In this video, we are going to solve a stacked bar graph. A stacked bar graph is nothing but a bar graph in which multiple values are stacked on a single rectangle or bar. We will solve this question then you will understand how to do it. If you have seen my previous videos then you must have understood I usually convert the graph into a table so that it is easier to answer them. This is a very simple question so I am not going to convert it into a table. So the bar chart represents the number of workers employed by Mega Corp Limited. There are two different sets of data here. Temporary which is represented by blue and orange color represents permanent. So for example let's find out the temporary and permanent workers employed by the company in the month of April. April 1 temporary and permanent. The blue bar represents the number of temporary employees. So in April 1 there are 250 number of employees. 2, 5, 0. The number of permanent employees is from here to here. It is not 650 but it is 650 minus 250. So it becomes 400. So I hope you understood how to read the graph. Now let's try to solve the question. Question number one, by what percent did the number of temporary workers employed by Megacorp Limited increase from April 1 to May 1? We have already written down the values of April 1. So let's write down the values of May 1. The number of temporary employees is 350 and the number of permanent employees is 800 minus 350 which becomes 4, 5, 0. Actually the given question does not ask anything about permanent worker so you didn't have to calculate that anyway. The question asks what percentage did the number of temporary workers, temporary workers employed by Megacorp increase from April 1 to May 1. So the increase you can see 250 to 350 so 350 minus 250 which is 100 divided by the initial value which is in April 1 which is 250 into 100. So that's how you find the percentage. We can divide by 50, 5, 2, 5, 2, 0. So 40 percentage is the answer. Option option A is the answer. Question number 2. What was the difference if any between the number of permanent workers employed by Megacorp Limited on March 1 and the number of permanent workers employed on April 1st? We already have the number of workers on April 1st. So the number of permanent workers on March 1st is 650 minus 300 which becomes 350. So the difference between 400 and 350 is 50. So option B is the answer. Question number 3. If on May 1, 60% of the permanent workers and 40% of the temporary workers employed by Megacorp Limited were women, how many of the workers employed by Megacorp Limited at the time were women? So we already have the data for May 1. 60 percentage of permanent workers means 60 by 100 into 450 so 4 5 0 plus 40 percentage of a temporary workers which is 350 so 40 by 100 into 350 so all you have to do is calculate this you will get 6 into 45 which is 270 plus 0 get cancelled and 4 into 35 becomes 140 so adding it you will get 410 option c is the answer we have already done this question in this channel so if you have watched it no need to see it again but try to solve it on your own the following chart represents the number of students of ms carriers that is like no center who passed either the cat exam or sat or cet exam or none of these exams assume that there are no students who pass more than one exam okay so there is no overlap Let's look how it is done. In the year 2000, you have 20 students who have passed CAT. And then from 20 to 60, 70, 80, to 20 to 80, there is a 80 minus 20, 60 students who passed X80. 140 to 80, there is a 140 minus 80, 60 students who passed the CET. And yellow represents the number of students who have not qualified for any of the exams, which is, uh, which is 140 to 170 so 170 minus 140 is 30 okay so this is how you read the graph so i hope you understood since this is a very simple question i am not uh, drawing the table you can draw the table if you find the question to be hard question number 16 what was the percentage of students who cleared cat in 2000 the blue color represents cat there is 20 students 20 students who qualified for cat and what does the so total number of students in 2000 is uh, 170 so 20 divided by total number of students which is 170 into 100. 
so 200 divided by 17 1 minus 17 3 0 1 minus 17 1 3 0 becomes uh, 17 5 so 85 92 102 119 1197 so answer is 11.7 uh, option d question number 17 what was the percentage of students who succeeded in at least one of the three exams so so you simply have to exclude the none part the number of students who have qualified for none of the tests so that is uh, 30 into 1000 so that becomes 170 minus 30 140 so 140 students have passed at least one of these subjects so 140 divided by the total is 170 into 100 so it becomes 1400 divided by 17 17 into 8 is 136 so 4 17 into 8 is 146 so 4082 all right 34 you get 6 0 82 point uh, 17 into 3 is 51 9 so 82.3 so option is uh, c 82.35 question number 18 which year showed the best result in mba entrance exam for the institute in terms of percentage of students who cleared so let's look at that we already have the number of students or the percentage of students who have passed in 2000 which is 82.35 in 2001 the number of students who have passed is the total number of students is 180 okay 180 and the number of students who has not passed is 30 so 180 minus 30 150 150 students have passed 150 divided by total number of students is 180 into 100 so 0 18 you can divide by 6 3 2 3 0 5 25 250 divided by 3 which becomes 8 103.33 so 83 in 2001 it is 83.33 percent and in 2002 the total number of students is 200 the number of students who has not passed is 40 so 200 minus 40 is 160 divided by total number of students which is 200 into 100 that becomes 280 so in 2002 it is 80 percent so the best result happened in the year 2001 so option b is the answer for question number 18. question number 19 what is the percentage increase in the number of students in 2002 over 2000 so in 2002 the number of students is 200 in 2000 the number of students is 170 so from 2000 to 2002 the increase is 200 minus 170 30 the number of students in the year 2000 was 170 so 30 divided by 170 into 100 so it becomes 300 divided by 17 which is uh, 117 13 0 so it will become 17 into 7 which is 119 11 7 so the option here is 17.64 option b option b is the answer stay safe see you again